Welcome to day 766 in my Hex and Pulse Chain journey. I hope you're doing all great. Thanks for my latest subscriber, Cody G. Welcome to the Hood Brother. And please now make sure to hit that like button. Let's get this video up to 500 likes. Hit that subscriber button and turn on post notification to get notified for every new video. And now let's get started with today's video. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to buy cryptocurrencies in the year 2022 and how to get the cryptocurrencies from the centralized exchanges to your personal wallet. For this, we're going to install MetaMask and after that I'm going to show you how to buy other tokens on decentralized exchanges. For this we're going to use Uniswap or other platforms. I'm just going to show you how to do this and to round up the example we're going to buy the best performing asset so far in the last two years. So stay tuned for that which token we're going to buy and now let's jump right into it. First, I'm going to show you quickly two sites where I buy normally my crypto. First is Coinbase.com and the second one is Crypto.com. For today's tutorial, we're going to use Crypto.com, how to register on Crypto.com, how to buy cryptocurrencies and how to move them to your personal wallet. Once you're on the website, you can simply click on products, exchange home in the middle and then on the top right, you can click the button sign up. Of course, there's a link in the description. You can support the channel by clicking so it's not mandatory you just simply come to the sign up page of crypto.com and you fill up the information. I already did this quite quickly. So you just fill in the first name, the last name. Please use real information because this is mandatory after that for the KYC process, which just guarantees that your account is safe, that you're also allowed to buy cryptocurrencies. You fill out the rest of the information needed. And once you set the password, as said already, the referral code is not mandatory. You just accept the terms and you accept also to the data above are correct. You click verify. After verifying, you just pop this thing in here already good and you're going to click create account and of course you can do the same on your mobile phone just go to the app store download the crypto.com app and you can then just sign up easily like here you see the app once it started click sign up you simply enter your email address you will get an email to verify your email account and then you can register through the app it's really easy once you're done with the registration you just go to the settings scroll a little bit down to the point two factor authentication and i really suggest you that you download the Google Authenticator and that you set up quickly the two-factor authentication. This is just to add another level of security. Once you log in with your username and password, you have to also to add the number from the Google Authenticator, which generates a random number every 60 seconds. You can simply copy and paste this into your app. It's a little bit more work, but I tell you it's necessary. It's for your money to protect your funds. So once this is done, you can simply go back to the app. Next, we're going to buy some cryptocurrencies on the crypto.com app. In this case, we're going to buy Ethereum. So we click here on Ethereum and you can see now on the bottom it's written buy ETH. So we're going to click buy ETH. You can then add a credit card or a debit card. You can also send funds directly via bank transfer. In this case, just quickly click the plus button, add a credit card, and then you're already set to go. And once the credit card is added, you simply just choose the amount of Ethereum you would like to buy. In this example, we're going to buy 0.1 Ethereum. Going to click buy ETH. I'm going to understand that the fee is 2.99%. Click continue, confirm the transaction, wait a couple seconds, and then I'm going to refresh my account. And I can see 0.15 Ethereum is now in my wallet on the crypto.com exchange. So as I said before, now my crypto is sitting actually on a centralized exchange, which is not so optimal. So we're going to change this in a second. For that, we come to the second topic of today. We're going to install MetaMask. Let me just quickly change the screen. First, we go on google.com and we're going to type in MetaMask. Once you enter, you will see the site and you can just simply click on the first topic. Make sure to be on metamask.io and you can scroll down a little bit. You can click the button download now. You can either choose it for Chrome, iOS or Android. We're going to do it for Chrome browser this time and click install MetaMask for Chrome. Once you click install MetaMask for Chrome, a new page pops up, the Chrome web store, which then you can add MetaMask extension to your Chrome browser. So click on the right side, add to Chrome. 
add extension and in a few seconds this extension should be installed so it's checking right now and now it's installed you can see it already on the top right here once the installation is finished you see the start screen welcome to metamask and now we can click get started you have two options either you already have a secret recovery phrase or you don't so in this case we create a new wallet from scratch we're going to click on the right side here create a wallet in the next step we're gonna help to improve the metamask team you can either choose no thanks or agree i'm gonna click no thanks and this is the first important step you're gonna protect your metamask wallet with a password so please choose your password wisely we're gonna fill in a uh, good strong password in here gonna agree the terms and gonna click create on the next page you just can quickly watch the video if you like so or gonna click the button next if you're new to metamask wallet i really suggest you to watch this one minute and 35 second video let's click next to come to the next page which is really really important so why is it so important the secret recovery phrase your secret recovery phrase makes it easy to back up and restore your account warning never disclose your secret recovery phrase anyone with this phrase can take your ethereum forever not just ethereum all of your tokens so this is the master password for your wallet please keep it safe the best thing is to store it maybe on a piece of paper put that piece of paper where you have other important documents even better if you have larger amounts of crypto on your wallet store it on two different places if one place burns down or a water flooding is going on you're still safe and have your secret recovery phrase on the second place so for now we have to click here to see our words and we can see holiday access universe is that example repair female voice strike hurry range click these are my words so i'm gonna save them real quick i really suggest you and cannot stress you enough just write them down on a paper never store them online in any case of accounts or print screens or whatever really just on paper that's the best way to stay safe after we click next we have to confirm that we are aware of our secret recovery phrase so for this we have to enter our 12 words quickly just to prove that we know the word so the first three words were holiday access universe then we had estate example somewhere repair where is it here then female voice strike hurry and arrange and click we can confirm and congratulations with this your metamask wallet is already done let's click all done and we have a pop-up with some information about the latest release we're going to click that away and now this is your metamask wallet with your first account so the next step is what i said in the beginning we want to get our cryptocurrencies from the centralized exchange to our own wallet here we already have now our own wallet if you click on buy you can scroll down a little bit you see directly deposit ether view account click this and you have a nice qr code with your account address so now we're going to hop back to our crypto.com app on the smartphone you can see i have 0.15 ethereum in here we're going to click transfer up on the right and we're going to click withdraw so we can basically withdraw the cryptocurrencies from the centralized exchange to our own wallet for this we have to choose external wallet gonna click add wallet address and if you're going to click now on the scan button we can simply use the camera just to add this address and you can see now there's a little flaw in here now it took the address but also pasted ethereum and two dots in front of my address so we're going to click quickly in here going to delete this out that we simply have the address so this is already good we give it a name we're gonna say this is my meta mask wallet after we set the name for the wallet we can click continue and because we already secured our account with the two-factor authentication we have to paste now in our six digits and click continue after a quick check you can see now your metamask address is in here we can click now on withdraw eth and we can choose the amount either in dollar or if we click on top here we can choose how much we would like to withdraw let me withdraw 0.1 ethereum let's click withdraw for this you have to pay a little network fee in total 0.005 ethereum to withdraw 0.1 one ethereum from your app crypto.com to your personal account in the metamask so let's click confirm after you entered again the two-factor authentication code once you entered 
a code, you can see your ETH withdrawal request has been submitted. So we can tap now everywhere and just go back to the screen where we can see our MetaMask wallet. We just have to wait a little moment until we receive our 0.1 Ethereum in our wallet. And after a little while, you should have received your Ethereum in your personal wallet. Congratulations, you have done the first step to move your funds from a centralized exchange to your personal wallet where you control the funds. And a little reminder, keep your secret recovery phrase safe, store them somewhere good, and then you will be able to access your funds also in the future. So what are we going to do next? Next, we're going to buy some tokens on some decentralized exchanges, which is the future. We want to move away from the centralized exchanges. We just simply going to use them for fiat on ramp just to buy crypto. But as soon as possible, you're going to move your funds to your personal wallet. So out there in the crypto space, there is a long list of tokens and coins which you can buy. Please do your own research. We have here on howtopulse.com the real coin market cap with no crap circulating supply times price. This is what matters. So we can see here on position number one, we have Bitcoin with a current price of $43,039. On position two, we have Ethereum with $3,403. On position three, we have Hex currently sitting at 22 cents. You can scroll down the list and you can see we have a lot of lot of coins in the cryptocurrency eco space. So it's hard to decide which one you want to buy, which one you want to hold. For this example, we're going to buy the top number three coin here, Hex, which is currently with 22 cents. If I'm going to compare the price of Bitcoin, the price of Ethereum, it's quite low the price. So this could be a good catch, but no financial advice, of course. So the next step will be to buy Hex on a decentralized exchange. This is the way to go. I'm going to show you three examples of decentralized exchanges. The first one is the uniswap.org exchange. You can see here the overview of the website already. Almost 4 billion US dollars are total locked away and is provided for liquidity. You can also see the volume in the last 24 hours with 2.85 billion US dollars. The second one is then the one inch exchange, which is basically just the aggregator which spread their orders across all decentralized exchanges to get you the best deal. On the one inch exchange, you can simply also swap from one token to the other. The same goes for the third option, matcha.xyz. This one trades on all the DEXs at once, so it's also an aggregator. But for this tutorial, we're going to use the Uniswap exchange. The Uniswap exchange is basically the oldest exchange which exists. We had already three versions. We are now at Uniswap version three. So to buy on Uniswap, you just simply go on app.uniswap.org and then this interface, which is really, really simple, should pop up. So the first thing we have to do is connect our wallet. We're going to click the button connect wallet. We're going to choose MetaMask because we already activated MetaMask and a small pop up should pop up. You can here see your account. We have only one account. We're going to click next, connect. And please be aware when this pop up pops up, sometimes evil sites would like to have permission to spend all your ETH or other tokens. So really make sure that you give the right permission. In this example, we just made a connection from the Uniswap interface to our MetaMask wallet. Next, you can see up here on the top right, I have this 0.095 Ethereum in my wallet and I'm going to do now some swap. So first, we're going to choose Ethereum, which is already chosen. This is really good. You can also swap other tokens, for example, USDC, USD Tether or whatever token you like. But we are good with swapping some Ethereum. And for the token which you want to buy, we choose the Hex token. So you have here again the list of all the available tokens or you just simply search in the search box your token which you would like to have and you can type in hex, going to choose the token hex. And now you can buy easily by swapping with Uniswap on a decentralized exchange. In our wallet is at the moment 0.095 Ethereum. So let's just swap some tokens. The fees to swap and send Ethereum can fluctuate at the moment. They're pretty high. So don't take this as a reference. I'm just doing this for a video. You can of course wait that the fees are a little bit lower. So let's just buy for 0.0 for Ethereum some hex and you can see Uniswap is now calculating. This should give you roughly 611 hex. And if you're okay with the deal, you're going to click the button swap. You can see also the fee which you have to pay at the moment $41. This can fluctuate depending on the congestion of the Ethereum network. So let's going to click swap. Another pop up pops up. We're going to confirm that we're going to swap 0.04 Ethereum for 611 hex tokens. Going to confirm the swap. MetaMask should pop up 
once again, you can see here you have to confirm your transaction. This transaction should cost me estimated $77, but this is Ethereum. Once the fees are settled, you can click confirm and the transaction is submitted. You can then click this pop up here away and you see it takes a little while, normally it takes up to one minute and you can see now swap exactly 0.04 Ethereum for 611 hex. You can also click view on explorer and etherscan will pop up. This is my transaction where we can see our swap transaction action here in the middle 0.04 Ethereum for 611 hex tokens. Pretty damn easy. If we go back now to the MetaMask wallet, we can still not see the tokens. That's pretty easy. You just have to refresh the list or import the tokens. So either you refresh the list, then it happens automatically. You can see, or you just click import tokens. You name the token you would like to import. In this case, it happened automatically and you just click on it and confirm it. You can see now on the assets, I own now 611 hex tokens with a value of $136. So you maybe ask yourself, why on earth did I bought the hex token? The list of the tokens is so long. The prices, the market caps, and also the circulating supply is so different from coin to coin, from token to token. I choose hex because it's still pre-viral. You cannot buy it on any exchange out there. You have to use decentralized exchanges. And if we hop over to Hex.com, you can see that Hex stakers get an average of 40% of yield per year, which is amazing. If you want to know more about this and how to stake your Hex, please visit my upcoming videos where I'm going to show you how to stake your Hex and how to get the max ROI out of your staking action. And now for the last part of this topic, we talked already about the security of MetaMask. If you are interested in to level up your security, please visit my site huddle.doc and you can click on top right here security and you will find all the information needed about security. You can then either choose a Trezor hardware wallet or a Ledger hardware wallet. These are two wallets which are state of the art in the industry. You can also back up your secret recovery phrase on a crypto steel so this thing is fireproof. If you have some more interest in, please watch the videos, read the articles and you are able to level up your security. So with that, we are already by the end of this video for today. If you found any value in it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below. As, as always, stay long and fat, stay safe out there and see you in the next one. Peace.